Hello everyone, welcome back to another X and Y battle. This one's against Gubs and it's from my stream I had yesterday. The stream which was really widely attended, the most attended stream I've ever had with over 700 people at its peak capacity, which was utterly ridiculous and I have no idea where you all came from um, and I maybe it was from the Twitch main page maybe it's from you know Shofu stream because he was streaming and then he stopped and I guess some people came over from there I don't know what it was but people came and there were loads of people watching so it was awesome uh, and this was the game that I actually kicked off the stream with uh, against Gubs um, and he doesn't have the best of times in this match but um, it was certainly a, an interesting game so we'll take a look at it and uh, certainly highlights a specific Pokemon who did pretty well throughout the stream so I lead off with Gengar, and I'm pretty sure I gave that thing a sash for this game, which is why I definitely don't want to stay in on Mian Shao, because he's probably going to U-turn out, and he's going to break it in the process, so uh, making sure that that doesn't happen. I go into my Skarmory, uh, his sturdy gets broken by the U-turn, but it's not going to matter because lefties will bring me back up to full this turn, uh, and unfortunately not in a good position because Noivan comes in, uh, and that thing probably is going to be carrying Flamethrower, um, most likely if he's running just the four attacking uh, with Life Orb set, uh, but it turns out he's running three attacks uh, with taunt and so potentially he will not have the flamethrower. I'm not quite sure uh, whether he will or not but um, we'll find out later on. I go into Azumarill on the switch as he taunts uh, which works out pretty well for me because my Azumarill obviously has four attacking moves because I'm choice banded and then he switches into Ferrothorn which I thought was pretty obvious which is why I go for the superpower do a huge amount of damage to it with the choice band. Unfortunately because Ferrothorn is Ferrothorn and it exists in reality it doesn't die um, and actually Gubs unfortunately doesn't have iron barbs on this thing because uh, he wasn't able to get a uh, hold of one but uh, I'm sure in the future he'll be able to change that up. I switch out to Chestnut and reason I do this is because I thought he would be like, okay, uh, I can go into Gengar and his superpower because obviously he's a choice banded one, he's going to be locked into it and I can set up on him. So, predicting the switch into Gengar, I go into my Chestnut because obviously, as everyone knows, Chestnut is, with Bulletproof, a hard counter to Gengar, which is absolutely amazing. It doesn't get affected by Sludge Bomb or Shadow Bolt or Focus Blast and it resists Thunderbolt. So, it is literally the all-in-one perfect thing to take Gengar on and um, not only that, but it works out on Ferrothorn because I switched in on a Leech Seed uh, and I don't think he can actually do anything to retaliate to me to break a substitute so I get up a free sub as he does set up his Stealth Rocks which I could potentially have stopped if I'd hammered on before subbing but um, just perfect situation for me honestly and uh, I do manage to get rid of him uh, in the end. So now going to Talonflame despite the fact that everyone had in the stream told him that Noivern with Infiltrator goes through Substitute so he could have gone into Noivern and gone for Hurricane and I would have died even though I'm behind a Substitute because that's how Infiltrator works uh, and I don't know why he went into Talonflame I think he just had this thing in his brain where he for some reason was associating Infiltrator with Talonflame as opposed to Gale Wings uh, and so <laughs> it just didn't work out for him honestly in the end uh, I get off a Hammer Arm which isn't going to do a, a whole amount of damage um, and I do have like this moveset is really kind of bad because I'm not able to hit flying types whatsoever I have hammer arm seed bomb and earthquake with substitute so crowbat laughs in its face like togekiss laughs in its face so I'm definitely gonna have to replace one of those with either stone edge or rock slide but here is the point at which I laugh maniacally in the stream because I predict his roost so hard and go for the earthquake and that my friends was just delicious oh my god he was definitely predicting me to switch uh, because I would have died to a brave bird and thought that he could get off a cheeky roost on the switch out but no ladies and gentlemen I do not allow him to do so get the prediction right nail it on the money and uh, that thing is out of the way so now he goes into Neuburn and this thing is really hard to play around just for the simple fact that it's really quick and it has a good amount of moves that it can use and its move pool is very varied so even though I switch in Titar to take the hurricane I can't stay in and take a focus blast from him so I'm basically gonna have to work around this thing by using sandstorm to chip it away hopefully life orb does some damage to it and takes it down and just predict the moves to get myself into a position where I'll be able to deal with it so I basically go to Tita to take the hurricane and then jump straight into Gengar to take the predicted focus blast and he ends up going for taunt on me I guess predicting stealth rock but there was no way I was gonna stay in on Neuven with the threat of a focus blast so it works out fine anyway because Gengar doesn't worry about taunt 
I'm going to be faster, actually, because I'm running Scarf on Gengar, and apparently I'm not running Focus Sash. Maybe that was later on in the stream that I gave this thing a Sash for a bit because something else needed, uh, like a Scarf or whatever. Um, and so... Ends up biting the dust uh, to a Draco Meteor, not before, however, leaving him with the Poison Touch, with a Sludge Bomb, uh, which is essentially going to eliminate him with a combination of him being poisoned and Life Orb and Sandstorm and all the residual damage in the world. So Neuven is out the way, and that is really good, because that thing is mm, it's quick, and it's a threat, and uh, it was a problem for my team, so I'm glad I got rid of it. Now I'm going to go into Skarmory as he switches into his Greninja. Definitely, uh, this thing's going to be special, and it's going to be a horrible thing to deal with because Greninja is always a pain. Um, Skarmory able to live it though just because the HP investment and my move is Steel Wing which doesn't really do anything. I was thinking maybe he would go for the Ice Beam which is why I went for the Steel Wing to try and uh, do some super effective damage because obviously Protein would turn him into an Ice type and Steel Wing is super effective on Ice uh, but that doesn't actually work out because he just goes for Stab instead and uh, is able to two hit KO me. So Skarmory unfortunately goes down, doesn't really get up any spikes. Uh, also the reason that I'm running uh, Steel Wing I should say is because the Skarmory that I got from someone one who gave it to me did not have Brave Bird on it, uh, which I, you know, obviously I would run Brave Bird normally, but uh, didn't have it, and there was no way for me to get it, so I just decided to pop Steel Wing on there. Not the best move, but uh, deals with fairies and stuff, so yeah, yeah, it's alright, not too bad. Uh, now I'm going to go into a Zoomerl, and Gubs was basically like, I can't touch this thing with my uh, Greninja. I guess he's not running Grass Knot on it, so he definitely can't do anything to me. Uh, meaning he is forced to switch out into Bruce, his Mian Xiao, which is not going to live a Banded Waterfall in any century, um, this side of any millennium. So uh, that thing goes down, goes into Gengar, which I'm assuming is going to be his Menga at this point. I don't think there was anything else on his team that could be. And I have, of course, as you guys remember, the number one Gengar counter and he basically uh, allows me to be a guaranteed counter by transforming into Mega Gengar now making himself susceptible to Earthquake. Now I do actually want to point out the fact that Gubs was very gleeful and delighted when I switched Chestnut in because he thought that Focus Blast was affecting it and he didn't realize that Bulletproof also doesn't work uh, or it also is able to protect Chestnut from Focus Blast as well as Sludge Bomb and Shadow Ball and he didn't know that until that happened and then I once again was very joyful and merryful and laughing muchly uh, as he was basically forced to switch out. Goes into Greninja, I get up a sub on the switch which, which is really nice and um, no matter what he goes for I should be able to just finish him off with a seed bomb that's what I opted to go for I could have gone for hammer arm because all he has left is this and Gengar and Gengar can't actually do anything to me so it wouldn't have mattered if I would got the speed drop um, and hammer arm is more powerful than seed bomb uh, plus because he went for the ice beam as he obviously was going to to break my sub he would have been weak to it so uh, I didn't decide to because I thought seed bomb would kill him anyway and my assumption was correct and uh, now we are just going to basically watch Chestnut sit here as one of the biggest fucking threats in 6th gen can just do nothing all it does is stand there bindi atop its head unable to do a fucking thing and then Gubbs just for the banter decides to protect and then decides once again to protect to get the double just to extend things out a bit for the for the pure puerile fact of the matter that he knows he's going to lose and wants to draw it out as long as possible to stop me from winning but not gonna work his triple protect fails he did get the double off which was rather lucky but a final earthquake is going to finish off the Gengar and that ladies and gentlemen is how you deal with Gengar <laughs> uh, it's pretty simple stuff you know chestnut is uh, is the hard counter, and you should definitely get yourselves a bulletproof chestnut because it saves you a lot of trouble when facing down such a foe as Gengar. So that's going to be the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Certainly, if you did, feel free to leave a like. Once again, Google Plus and the comments are an utter clusterfuck. So if you enjoy this battle and you have no way of expressing it in the comments, a like is more than appreciated, and I would, uh, yeah, you know. I would really like that. So I will see you guys next time whenever I get another battle up. Probably soon, probably tomorrow. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.